Hello! Today we are doing Zeta Lesson 22, more solving for the unknowns! Yay! I bet that's just what you wanted to do. All right. Well, we know solving for the unknowns, you know, 3x equals 12. You know, x equals 4. 3 times 4 equals 12. So we know how to do that basically now. We're just going to be doing a little bit more of that with decimals. Woohoo! All right. So the first one we're going to go over 3x plus 0.2 equals 2. Whenever we're solving for the unknown, what's our number one thing we're going to do? Get the x by itself. The x is our number one goal. That's the variable, our unknown. Right? So what's the first thing we're going to do? What doesn't have anything to do with the x? This point two here. He doesn't have anything to do with the x. He's not touching it, but he's on the same side. And if we want the x to be by itself, this point two needs to go away. So this is a plus point two. So we are going to subtract point two. If we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other. Subtract point two. Now, do you see where I line this up? That's a big thing because our whole number two, it's like it has an invisible point after it. It's a whole number, two point, two holes. Well, we have a point two, so I want to make sure that I line it up where it's supposed to be. It's less than one, so it needs to be in the decimal tenths place. All right, so now I can subtract borrow one, he becomes a 10, 1.8. So now I have 3x equals 1.8. Now what am I gonna do? Hmm, all right, I still need my variable x. I need it on its own. So what do I need to do? Get it on its own, I have to figure it out. I'm going to divide 3x by three. I want that x alone, and that 3 is the only thing in my way. If I do something to one side, I have to do it to the other. Divide by 3. Okay, so now we get to do our division. So we have, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 3 divided by 1.8. Okay, how many 3's go into 1? None. So, I have to go past my point. It shoots up. How many 3's go into 18? 6. Minus 18 equals 0. Alright, so my x equals 0.6. So now they're going to ask you to check. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to erase just a little bit. You know I don't like you to erase, but I just want some space. All right. Let's see here. Actually, it'll be better over here. All right. So 3 times 0.6 plus 0.2 equals 2. All right. Our original problem with our new variable, our answer put in. Okay. The variable is the first thing we're going to do. 3 times 0 0.6, 3 times 0 0.6, 18, and I move over, 1. 1 1.8 plus 0.2 equals 2. 1.8 plus 0.2 equals 2. 2 point is the same as 2. 2 equals 2. We got it correct. Yeah. All right. It works. Okay, now what about if all of the parts of the problem are decimals? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Okay. Let's see here. Our next one is 1.5j plus 3.3 .3 equals 13.8. All 
All right. Like we said, what's the first thing we can get rid of? What's the first thing we can do? On the side next to our variable, the number that doesn't touch it, that's the first thing we want to do. If we have a plus 3.3 and we want that to become a zero, what do we do? Subtract 3.3. That equals zero now. Zero point zero. All right, which is zero. So if I do it to one side though, whoop, I gotta do it to the other. Minus 3.3. Point three. Five and 10. Okay, I have a new problem. 1.5 J equals 10.5. Okay, what do I do next? My next step, my number one goal in solving for the unknown, to get my variable alone. I'm now going to divide by 1.5 so my j can be so low. If I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other, 1.5. Okay, those cancel out. 1.5 by 1.5 is just one, which is just j. Okay, and then I have 10.5 divided by 1.5. 1 1.5 divided by 10.5, okay. I have a decimal here, which I want to move over. If I move this one over one, I move this one over one. So now it's 15 divided by 105. How many 15s go into 10? None. How many 15s go into 105? Let's see. It's not 10, so let's do 15 times 7. 35, hey, right off the bat, that was a guess. All right, so 15 times 7 is 105. Okay, and I don't even have to go over anymore, so I don't have to, you know, put my decimal up and keep going. It's just 7. So I have J equals 7. So let's go ahead and see if we're right by checking. All right, so I've got 1.5 times 7, my variable I'm putting in, plus 3.3 .3 equals 13.8. All right, let's check it out. The first thing I need to do, 7 times 1.5. 1 1.5 times 7. 35 and 10. How many times do I need to move my decimal over? Only once. So 10.5 plus 3.3 equals 13.8. I have 10.5 plus 3.3. .3. Make sure you're lining up your decimals. And I've got it. 13.8 equals 13.8. We got it. Two in a row. <laughs> All right. So this last one that I've got for you is I'm showing because it's a little bit bigger. Okay. Just a little bit more division in it. Okay, point 12a. Point 12a plus point 0 0.052 equals point 0.1. Hmm. First thing we do. This is a plus 0 0.052, so we need to subtract it. Take it out of the situation. He doesn't need to be there. We want our variable alone. Okay? And I have 0.1 here. So if I subtract 0 0.052, if I line it up correctly, what do I need to put up here? some zeros. I need some placeholders. You can add as many zeros behind as you want. Same as division, okay? You can add as many behind. You can't do that, can't do that, so we're gonna do some borrowing. Okay, 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 5 is 4. 0 minus 0 is 0. And don't forget about your decimals. All right, we have a new problem. 0.12a equals 0.048. Now what do I need to do? I need that variable alone. So I'm going to divide by 0.12. If I do it to one side, I do it to the other. Okay, and now I'm going to divide. 
0.12 divided by 0 0.048. It doesn't matter if there's, a, if there's a decimal anywhere here. It only matters if the decimal is over here. We do not want any decimals there, so we move him one, two spaces over. If we move him two, we move this one two. One, two spaces over. Okay, now this changes our problem because our new problem is 12 divided by 4.8. Do I need this zero here? No, this zero is not a part of my whole number. Zero, 4.8? Nah, we just say 4.8. So if you want, if that ever comes up, you can just erase that and make it 4.8. It only works if there's a zero in front of a whole number, all right? How many 12s go into four? Zero. Now we're gonna move into that. How many 12s go into 48? Four 12s go into 48. All right, so now we have, oops, A equals point four. Let's check our work, I wonder if I'm right. All right. Point 0.12 times 0.4, our new variable number, plus 0 0.052 equals 0.1. All right, so 0.12 times 0.4 is 8.48. And how many times do I move it over? Plus 2, plus 1. I move it over three times. One, two, Three. One, two, three. I may put that zero there. So 0 0.048 plus 0 0.052 equals 0.1. All right, so now we've got to do our math. Um, I always like to put the bigger number on top. Plus 0 0.048. 10, 10, 10. And it's an addition, so the points go right down. Point. 100 is the same as 0.1. We got it, we got it. All right, so same stuff we've been doing, more solving for the unknown, much easier than last week, I think. So go ahead, and your number one goal is to get that variable, get that unknown number or letter, excuse me, by itself. All right, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Have a good week and uh, look forward to hearing from you if you need any help. All right, bye.